What do you think is one of the biggest threats to your business today? The answer is ransomware. In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about ransomware, why you should be concerned, and how you can protect your business. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments about ransomware, use the comment box below. Ransomware hit the national headlines here in the UK in 2017, when the NHS IT system had a huge ransomware attack. I remember it well. I was on holiday in Cornwall at the time, and I remember the mayhem it caused. It was anticipated that it was about 19,000 appointments that had to be canceled because of this ransomware attack. And the cost to the NHS? 92 million pounds. It's no surprise that ransomware attacks are on the rise. You can even learn how to create your own ransomware on YouTube. So what is ransomware and why does it cause such a huge risk to your business? Well, ransomware is a type of malware and once it gets onto your computer system, encrypts all the data. You won't be able to access anything. But these cyber criminals are quite clever because they give you the opportunity to get your data back. All you have to do is pay the ransom. Seems clever, right? And these ransoms aren't small sums of money. Recent reports estimate that the average ransom request is about £8,000. But if you run a business today, the ransom costs are the least of your worries. If your business got infected with ransomware, you could face days or even weeks without a working IT system. You could face a huge bill for getting your IT system back to where it was. You could lose customers and you can have a crushing blow to your business reputation. One of the biggest problems I face as an IT professional is that a lot of small business owners don't believe that they're targets for the ransomware attacks. They think that these cyber criminals are just after the big people, people like the NHS. This type of thinking will get you into some serious trouble. It's estimated that over 70% of all ransomware attacks are happening to small businesses just like yours. Cyber criminals target anyone who is vulnerable. And in my experience, a lot of small businesses are just sitting ducks. It's not a case of if you get attacked, it's more a case of when you get attacked. You might be sitting there watching this video, drinking a cup of tea, feeling quite relaxed. Maybe your business has just bought some new antivirus software. Unfortunately, lots of people who reported getting hit by ransomware were running antivirus software on their computers. Or maybe you're feeling relaxed because you've just bought a new super duper firewall to protect your business. Well, unfortunately, there's no one single bit of technology that's gonna keep your business protected. If there was, we'd all just buy that and I wouldn't have to make this video. Although they play a part, these traditional security solutions like antivirus and firewalls are just no match for modern day cyber attacks. So how does ransomware get into your business? Well, there are many, many routes that cyber attackers use to get ransomware in your business. The most common way that ransomware gets into your business is through email and phishing attacks. People design these phishing emails and they're so clever that they entice people to click on those links. Once that link is clicked, the ransomware is installed on the PC. But there are many other ways that ransomware can get into your business. Most people aren't cybersecurity trained, so they don't know what to look out for. Lots of people use weak passwords, easy to remember, but easy to hack. Then lots of small business IT networks are poorly maintained. All these factors could lead to ransomware getting inside of your business. So what's the answer? Well, as I mentioned earlier, there's not one single bit of technology that you can buy that's gonna prevent your business getting a ransomware attack. When I think about cybersecurity protection, I think of a jigsaw puzzle. Each different piece of that jigsaw represents a different technique or a different service that you can apply in your business to help you keep protected. If your business is missing one, two or three pieces, you've not got a complete jigsaw and each missing piece is a potential way in for cyber criminals. So yes, you need a really good firewall in your office to protect your network. Yes, you need modern day security software installed on all your computers. You need some robust email filtering software to try and prevent those phishing attacks. Everybody in your business needs to be cyber security aware. You need regular training for that. You need to implement two-factor authentication wherever you can on your computers, your network, 
your Office 365. You need a strong password policy throughout your business. And you need a solid IT maintenance plan to make sure everything is kept up to date. This forms the basis of a good, secure IT network. But even if you employ all of these strategies, I can't guarantee your immunity to a ransomware attack. As a business, you have to prepare for the worst. I've got two recommendations you can put in place to ensure that your business can recover from a ransomware attack quickly and easily. My number one recommendation is to make sure that your backup and disaster recovery solution you use is absolutely rock solid. The best way you can recover from a ransomware attack is to roll your system back to a time when it didn't have ransomware. Don't let the morning when you find out you've got ransomware be the same morning that you find out that your backups aren't good enough. My IT support company, Integral IT, recommend Datto Business Continuity. With Datto Business Continuity Solutions, we can ensure that our client's IT system is back up and running really quickly in the event of a ransomware attack. My second recommendation isn't technology related, but you've got to make sure that you've got adequate cybersecurity insurance in place. That way, if you get a ransomware attack that takes your business down, that insurance can kick in and ensure that your business can stay afloat. I hope you found this video useful. It's an incredibly important topic for your small business. If you've liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I publish videos every Tuesday and every Friday.